and welcome back to the Whip Public Libraries from Book to Table. I hope everybody's holiday season went super great. I know I had a great time. I know it was a little bit different this year, but you know what? We're gonna get through it and next year it's gonna be even better than this year was. So I know you're all probably feeling really burnt out, probably cooked a lot, ate a lot of food. You just kind of want to chill like I do. So we're going to be making some pumpkin soup today. It is keto and vegetarian friendly, which is super great. Um, my partner is currently doing the keto diet. So we're trying to eat as much different things as possible. And here at our house, we like to do soup Saturdays just because it's a nice, easy thing to do. It's kind of chilly outside. You want to just sit down with a big bowl of soup and feel warm and cozy, watch your favorite movie. This is the kind of soup for that. It takes about 30 minutes, 10 minutes to prep and 20 minutes to cook, max. Super easy, took me probably less than that just to get everything ready. Um, I love to pack this up actually into mason jars, uh, seal it up and take a big one to work. And then that way I don't have to worry about, you know, packing a lunch every day or, you know, I, it's an earlier day. I don't really feel like making a lunch. My lunch is already at work. I can just unscrew it, pour a little bit out into a bowl. Bam, I have lunch right there. So we're gonna get into it today and I hope you love it. Okay, let's get started. Uh, first though, I'm gonna put my hair up because I just feel like it's one of those days that my hair is just gonna get everywhere, you know? So I'm gonna put my hair up and we're gonna get to it, okay? Okay, so I have my big soup pot here right now with me and I'm gonna just open this can of pumpkin. So this is just a 26 ounce can of pumpkin. Uh, the recipe does call for two 13 ounces, but this is 26, so it's perfect. Um, you can find this in the baking aisle. Um, the one thing that I will um, remind you to do, because they're always beside each other, make sure you're looking for the pure pumpkin one, um, not the pumpkin pie, pie filling, because I mean, as much as that would taste delicious to have pumpkin pie soup, I'm sure it's not as nutritious. So we're gonna use just the regular pumpkin today. I'm just gonna scoop the whole thing out, put it right into our pot. Okay, so the pumpkin's all added. Oh, and we have a visitor. Say hello to baby. She doesn't know that she's not allowed to walk on the counters. <laughs> okay, so our pumpkin is all added in here. Next, we're just gonna take our one cup of coconut milk. It's already pre-measured. I'm just gonna add that in as well. This is great. It's gonna make it super creamy and delicious. I personally love adding coconut. This is gonna be a running theme. Okay. Next, we're gonna take our chicken broth as well. We're just gonna pop that right in. This is two cups of chicken broth. Again, you can use vegetable broth instead. Uh, I'm just gonna now mix this up a little bit, kind of get it combined. Okay, so that's a little bit more combined. Now in here I have all of our spices, okay? So this is one teaspoon of garlic powder, ginger, dried, cinnamon, nutmeg, paprika, all in here, one teaspoon each, super easy. Just gonna add that in and mix it up. It already smells so good and it's not even actually cooking yet. So I am super ready for some soup. Probably one of my favorite meals. Super easy, really nutritious, just absolutely so good. And I'm really excited. I don't think I've ever actually made pumpkin soup before. I've definitely made butternut squash, but I thought, you know what? I already have the pumpkin in my cupboard. We use pumpkin in our cat's food. And I was like, why not? This looks delicious, it smells so good. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on the stove um, at around medium heat and I'm just gonna leave it for 15 minutes. Okay, so we're almost done with the simmering. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to the soup. It's currently simmering right now. Um, before I use my hand blender just to get a better consistency. So I'm just gonna put a few cranks of pepper in. And then I'm gonna do the same with my salt. And there we go gonna mix that up and then I'm gonna use my hand blender we'll be right back okay 
Okay, so the next step is just to take our hand blender, which I have right here. I didn't have to move because I don't have a plug over by my stove. Um, I'm just gonna turn this on about a minute just to get everything well and combined. It should be pretty good, but might as well just give it an extra little bit of smoothness, okay? Okay, so if you want it to be a little bit thicker, you can throw it back on the stove, um, which I'm gonna do actually. I'm just gonna simmer it for a little bit longer uh, just to get it nice and thick. Leave it off, uh, no, don't put a lid on it, just leave it open and uh, another like five minutes just until you feel it's the right consistency for you. If you're good with this, then you're good to stop, but I'm just gonna throw it back on for a couple more minutes, okay? And this is what the finished product looks like. Super yummy, can't wait to eat it. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to follow us on social media or visit us at whippylibrary.ca for more of our programs and collections. We have so many great things coming your way this new year. We have a podcast starting up in the second week of January. I know that we're going to be doing some outdoor activities, lots of stuff to keep you busy. I know it's a tough time of year just getting back into the swing of things, especially with the pandemic going on. But you know what? Make this soup. Settle down, have a nice cozy day with your family or just by yourself with your cats, which is what I'm going to be doing. And, you know, just have fun. And I hope all of your New Year's are going great. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure to check out Hoopla um, for this book. So it's called The Essential Keto Soup Cookbook by June DeSalvo. Uh, super great. Hoopla is an awesome resource. So many great things to look for. So many cookbooks, movies, TV shows, music, you name it, it's on there. I've been listening to Taylor Swift since it came out. So you know what? Check it out. Have a great time. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm going to go eat my soup. Thanks. Bye.